Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming for you a Sephora 20% off sale haul. So Sephora recently had, um, I think it was 20% off for gold and black members and 15% off for white members. So um, I'm Sephora black member. Um, not gold anymore because I kind of calmed down on the spending which is really good for my bank account but kind of sad that I'm not a gold <laughs> anymore. So the first night of the sale I went on thinking that I could get the 20% off straight away and I stayed up till midnight for it and yep couldn't even do it and I was like what the hell why isn't it working and then I read the email properly and it was like black members have access the next day and I was just like internally screaming. Um, so then I settled till midnight again the night after and got everything I wanted. I already had everything in my cart ready to go and I kept like reloading it, waiting for it. Even if I wait until only 6 o'clock in the morning, everything is gone that I want. Like it's so annoying. So this time I was like, I'm getting everything I damn want. And there was a couple of things I had in my cart that they only had, it was like, oh, hurry, only four left. And so I was like, oh my God, I need them like now. But I got everything I wanted, which is really good. So I'm basically just gonna go through everything I bought. Um, but before we do that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking it down below. I upload a lot of skincare and makeup related videos. Um, and I also have Instagram, which is Renee Weaver MUA, if you wanna check me out there. Anyway, let's get into it. So, I got a free gift on my order, um, and I think maybe it was if you spent over a certain amount, I'm not sure, but it's a little um, Sephora collection face roller, and it's a rose gold and black one. So this is super cute. I've already got like a rose quartz one. I don't really use it, just because I find it's just like another sort of step in my skincare routine, but this is really nice, so I don't know, I feel like I might use this just because it looks really pretty. I'll use it in like videos and stuff probably, so... And it comes in a cute little like tie-up case too for storage. So that's really nice and convenient. Anyway, let's get into the products. So the first product I got was the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade 16 and Fairlight Neutral. So this is my um, shade that I can wear both when I have tan on and when I'm like sort of like my normal pale shade. I do have another shade that's a bit lighter that I sometimes wear when I don't have tan on, um, but I do find that this works for me for both. So I just thought I'd top up on this shade. Um, and my other one's been like down, I've been running on the little last little Scarex of it for like months now. Um, so um, definitely needed more and I was just waiting until I didn't have to pay full price for it really. Um, I don't have it in a box because I've already used it today. Uh, I used it like as soon as it came in the mail. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to use this for my face. I have some more. So I thought I'd get more of that. And it's so satisfying having a new... Oh, having that new tube. Oh, it's so good. Like, oh, that new applicator. My other one looks so ratty. I'm definitely chucking it out. Oh, it looks terrible. So the next product I got, I got lots of Fenty products. So... Pretty much everything else in here is Fenty. I love Fenty Beauty. I use a lot of Fenty products in my professional kit as well as on my own face. Um, so I was actually going to get the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer because I had tried a sample of it before and I really liked it. And I normally use the Too Faced Hangover Primer but I was slack to have to order off Mecca as well as Sephora. So I thought I'd get something off Sephora and just before the sale like started I was like... Mm, I think I'm going to get the Fenty one. So I got the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. So it comes in this beautiful little pink matte bottle. It's so pretty to look at. And oh my god. That smell. I love the smell of Fenty products. It's so nice. This smells like when the like the foundation when it first came out the matte foundation. It didn't work very well on my skin, but the smell Oh, I don't know what it is. It's, there's just, there's something in it that makes it smell. Oh, I could just like, I could wear that as a perfume. I just, I can't get enough of it. It's such a nice smell. And then when you've got it on your face, oh, 
feels so good. So it's a really nice like, kind of has like almost like a gel like consistency sort of, but also lotion-y. It's a bit hard to explain. But it makes your skin feel super soft. Um, I did wear this today as well actually. Um, and my makeup's held up really well. I do have a dry combination skin. So I'm very dry sort of on this part and around in the corners of my nose, but I also do get very oily in my tea. And especially with it being winter at the moment, I'm just suffering like all around this part of my face. Just gets so cakey, but my foundation hasn't gone cakey at all today. So thanks Fenty. The next thing I got was the Fenty Gloss Bomb Lip Luminizer in Hot Chocolate. So this is like the really dark chocolatey shade. Um, I'm so excited to try this on clients. I wanted to get some stuff that I could use on like some like with, like darker skinned girls. Like I really, I just wanted some more contouring products and stuff. Like I had stuff, but I was like, I really want to invest in some good, like really good ones. Um, so I've got this beautiful gloss. It's like a nice, rich chocolate brown color. Oh, looks so nice. Yes. I just, I love the smell of the Fenty Gloss too. Oh, why does Fenty's products all smell so good? But yes, I'm definitely going to use this on some girls soon. I've got some models lined up who have a darker skin tone um, to do some looks on. So I'm definitely going to be using this on them. Okay, so the next product is the Fenty Sunstalker Bronzer in Shady Biz. Um, so this is the bronzer that I normally use on myself um, for when I have a tan on, but I also use it in my kit on clients, and I, my old one, it's like, I've only got like this much around the edge of the palette, and that's what I've been using for ages, like just waiting for everything to go on sale, because um, I missed out on it in the last sale, um, but it's so good, like honestly the best matte bronzer ever. Yes. Oh, so satisfying having a new one. Oh, Fenty's packaging is just so good. I just love it. And their products work so well. Okay, so the next product I got, um, I got two shades of the Fenty Matte Matchstick Skin Sticks. Um, so I got the shade Caviar. So this is going to be used as a contouring shade um, for my girls with darker skin tones. Um, so that's a really nice deep sort of colour. So yeah, I'm really, that. this is the darkest shade in their range, so this is definitely going to be good for um, any of my clients who have that really rich, deep skin tone. Um, and then I also got, a lot of this is just stuff for like in my kit, not even like for me. So of course I got the shade Espresso, which is just sort of a little bit lighter again. Um, I did want to get, there was another colour I really wanted to get, but they'd already sold out. Like, it was sold out, like, a week before the sale even started, so I was like, mm, yeah, looking like I'm not going to be able to get that. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to add these to my kit. Okay, and the last thing I got was, um, something for myself. I've been really struggling lately with my skin. Um, I think ever since going back on, um, birth control again, um, it has messed with my skin I'm getting a lot of like blind pimples um, and like you can't tell when I have makeup on but when I don't have makeup on you can see it um, and I remember trying this product when I was still on Roaccutane because I was looking for a chemical exfoliant um, something that wasn't too abrasive on my skin and I remember I could use this and it didn't irritate my skin and that was when I was on Roaccutane and my skin was hypersensitive um, and ever since, I just I was just too lazy to buy it because it was so expensive. Um, but I've tried like the lactic acid in the ordinary, and that just broke me the hell out. And I tried to stick with it. I used it for a good two months, and my skin just did not improve at all. It just stayed really bad. So I thought I would give this one a go. So it is the Alpha H uh, Liquid Gold Glycolic Acid Toner. So well, it's not a toner, but it's a chemical exfoliant. So. Revitalizes the skin, revitalizes and assists firming the skin in a single application through a multi-action formula of silk, protein, and licorice. But yeah, so it's got a glycolic acid base, so which is in a chemical exfoliant, so it's just really good for getting rid of all your dead skin cells and that. And because I'm just finding um, 
my like my Clinique seven day scrub that's been so great for me for so long but I'm just finding it's not really cutting it anymore and I just need something a bit stronger um I my skin can be a bit weird with um active acids um it either loves it or hates it um but I remembered that this one worked really well for me before so I'm going to try it again so I'll definitely give an update and tell you guys how that goes um, but it's normally $60 a bottle um, which is why I haven't bought it yet but I got it on sale so I'm like all sweet well that brings us to the end of the video already I did want to get a few more things I wanted to get some of the Fenty um, shimmer skin sticks um, in like the blush shades because I've already got Yacht Life and I really wanted to get Pink Lemonade and Beach Bum um, but I just was like, no, you're already spending so much money, like, take a couple things out. So I took a couple products out of my cart. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys bought in the sale. Um, I'd really love to know. Um, let me know if you like any of these products as well, because I just, I just love Fenty so much. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!